Hey everybody, <clears throat> hope you guys are doing alright. So, um, as you can see, there's a little, I think, I don't know if he's a baby, but there's a very small, young uh, squirrel right there, and uh, he is still alive. I know he looks rather dead, kind of right there, but uh, he's he's alive. I just saw his, his foot twitch um, a few seconds ago, and I've got some, some, I looked up online, I guess some Pedialyte is something that you, you can give uh, baby squirrels that can be good for them, so that's what I have there, and that... Um, that bowl and then in the water bottle is actually warm water um, to help keep his body warm because right now we found him yesterday outside in the backyard <clears throat> and we actually had a very hot day it was like 95 or something which for us here in Oregon is uh, Portland Oregon is, is pretty hot so uh, initially I was I was afraid he was a little overheated and so we got him, we get him some some water and then I decided to bring him down here into the basement and he slept overnight in the basement down here um, and then this morning, because I thought he might be a little cold, and I read some reports about people wanting to help, I mean, reports about and I, it being a good idea to help warm their bodies up. And one way you can do that is by uh, just placing um, a, a water bottle with some warm water in it near their body. So that's why the water bottle's there. <clears throat> and then I've got some cushioning there to just give him some comfort. Um, so then I was like, well, the next best thing, because I'm pretty sure he broke his leg. I think he fell out of a tree. I don't know if his, his mom or his dad dropped him or he got hot or just slipped out of the tree yesterday because we, we have a very large <clears throat> pine tree in our backyard. And um, that's the only tree we have. So I'm assuming he must have fallen out of that tree. And it's a good, you know, the nearest branch is probably close to 10 feet above the ground. So he fell at least 10 feet. And as you can see, he's, he's a little guy. So um, I think he broke one of his legs. If not, that's great, but I'm not sure. I haven't seen him actually get up and walk yet. Um, so then, then I'm just sitting here thinking, like, well, he really needs a rehabilitation. Like, he needs a place to go and so to where he can heal his leg without having to fear, without being fearful of predators, of being hunted and all this type of shit. Um, so this morning, I, since, you know, for the past half an hour or so, I've been trying to find, I just spoke with somebody, but it took me about 20 minutes to find just one person to talk to about, um, what to do with this, this little guy. And, um, what she told me was essentially the best chances for him. What she told me was if I can put him back to the place where we found him and he'll just survive, he'll just make it some magical way. And I was like, well, that's not going to work because our backyard is little bear in Shiloh's domain and, and little bear would surely Shiloh might too, but I know a little bit, or especially, you know, you would probably devour him, you know, just being real. He's a, he's a dog, and he loves, he's a hunting dog too, so he loves going after shit like that. So, <clears throat> that's pretty much a death sentence, not to mention there's nothing for him. I mean, I don't think he's able to climb right now, so I don't think uh, he'd be able to get back into the tree, which would be his protection. So, doing that isn't going to work, and just leaving him outside in, 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 in the back of the yard, like, because we do have a section of our yard that's fenced off to where a little bear can't get, and leaving him out there right now in the condition that he's in, it's like, well, if he's got a broken, busted leg, like, where's he going to be able to go? And then I also read reports about how, like, if the mother hasn't gone back in two, if, if she hasn't come back in two hours to pick up the baby, then the chances of her coming back are very slim. So... <clears throat> You know, that's why I thought taking him to an animal sanctuary, like that's the place where he needs to go. He's an injured animal, he needs some help, we need to find a place to, you know, just like a human would go to a hospital when they need help, that's where he needs to go. And um, unfortunately, she said that if I were to do that, they would probably just kill him. They would probably just euthanize him. And I guess they do have remote, like they do have dudes that go to locations that pretty much do the same thing. They just go to a location and they, 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 they kill them. Um, it's, it's really fucking sad. And like, uh, so it's like, I'm, I'm sitting here asking her like, okay, so essentially what you're telling me is because there's not enough funding for something like an animal sanctuary, that the, the, what they do is they just, they just kill the animals instead of trying to help heal them. Um, so again, it's like, and then I'm thinking like, wow, this is America. Like it's one thing it's a third world country where there isn't even enough money for the local populace to eat. Like I get it. Like there's just not enough resources to go around and you guys have got just a bunch of crazy shit going on. That's keeping you guys from developing a level of abundance, but that's not the case here in America. Like there's tons of money. We spend billions and billions and billions of dollars on agencies and industries and organizations that are doing probably more bad than good. And yet we can't even figure out a way to help take care of this little guy. So everything happens for a reason and like it's it's interesting too because the animal sanctuary has been on my mind for the past couple of days and then this happens this little guy pops up into my life so I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do I might just take him as um kind of a pet for now until he gets better on his feet and then maybe I can take it let allow him back into the wild once I'm once I'm once I can see that he can run and take care of himself 
um i think for the time being that's what i'll do maybe i'll spend some time outside today with him and just see if, if the mother happens to come back around and maybe she, she'll want to pick him up um that doesn't feel like a very likely possibility but i can give it a shot um anyways i'll keep you guys posted and hope you all have a good day all right love you bye um so my, my buttons don't work all that my phone's just breaking down so it's like i can't even <clears throat> i'm sitting here hitting the uh, end record button and it's just not wanting to end so that's why it's prolonging da, da, da. Yeah, this phone, come on bro.